So, as if by magic, we have turned up in the Blue Mountains. Like, psh, here we are. Now, what really quite upset me in the car a moment ago, I'm here with Wynne Jones, my friend, ecologist, uh, author, poet, photographer, extraordinaire of the, the world, basically, of nature, a man of nature. And he said to me in the car just, David, you're, you're serious and I'm, I don't take life seriously. I'm like, hang on a minute, mate. I've got my briefcase with me. I'm in the Blue Mountains. I've got my brogues on. Is this a man who takes himself seriously? Anyway, when? <laughs> um, what yeah. I want to say is that for, for us, like coming mm. together a couple of years ago on my own healing journey, yeah. you started to open something up for me. You started to make me realize uh, that there's so many different avenues to healing. Mm -hmm. And being with you and spending time with you and sharing was, um, was, Pretty special for me. Oh, that's that's Pretty really special. good. Okay. Well, we are, we're sharing a beautiful place here, and this is largely what my life has been about since I was born. It's about my relationship with nature. So, what you came to Australia and met me about was me sharing my place and my space with you and with all the others who want to be part of that. And it's about sharing all the other things that are not human, but are all so much related to us. And what I call all the others. All the others are those living, breathing plants and animals out there in this beautiful wilderness. And this is my home. This is my very special home. It's my bush home. And in my bush home, I have many bush rooms. <laughs> but uh, there are so many bush rooms out there. We're in one here. And they're all different. As you move through them, each bush room changes into the next. Subtly, sometimes dramatically. As if you went over the cliff here on a rope, dramatically. You walk through the heath here, subtly. And it's about your awareness of those things. This is your office, when? Oh, you can call ah. it. <laughs> he is funny after all. And you could call <laughs> this my office. Yes. But uh, it, uh, it really is. It's my bush room. It's my place. It's my home. And it's only part of the Blue Mountains World Heritage Area. It's only a fairly small part, but it's one of the most important parts. And we're looking at the Wild Dog Mountains, and uh, what's called the Gangarang Mountains, and the Kanangra Boyd Plateau over there, that long straight section under the clouds, uh -huh. and the cliffs beyond. And I have been on all of these tops many times. So you can imagine somebody walking across those tops down into the valleys, back up onto the tops again, and across the skyline, that has been my experience over many, many, most of my life, in fact. So, I mean, there's this haze going on here over these trees. I can see this. It's like a, a blue haze that I can see. Ah, yes. What's, what's going on there? Well, that, that's probably caused by the gum trees, uh -huh. the eucalyptus gum trees, which most of that area has got trees on it and they're gum trees and they give out oils which refract the light and, and they refract it into this blue colour. Yeah. And some days it's more intense than others. Yeah. Um, but then of course that's why it was called the Blue Mountains. Yeah. Because of that, because what so. you call the haze is just the, the light that's changed by the gum trees. Yeah. Which is so Australian. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's so amazing. It is. It is. It's truly sensational. I mean, for me, when I first came it was uh, about you know the movie um, Avatar that I'd loved that movie oh, James yeah. Cameron's movie yes. and I felt I was in you know in this magical land that is covered in Avatar and yeah. for for me it was um, I was just blown away because I got ever seen anything so stunning so beautiful um, and it, it for me it, it just it opens me you know it, mm. it opens me up 
Mm. And I start singing as soon as I get out of the car. I start to sing and I feel free. 